I want to show you a project I did on my 1968 Chris Craft Roamer. I've been slowly restoring it and the next project is the rear doors. Here is a picture of the original rear door setup. It's a sliding aluminum door setup. Here's a picture of I stripped them down and then I repainted them and here's a picture of when we did a uh, boating adventure. But they never slid quite right and I would often get stuck like in this picture. So one night while sleeping I came up with this idea and I drew it out on paper. Um, I went to a specialty wood place and got some African mahogany. Um, I shaped it into cabinets and doors um, with glass and the idea was to make a um, wet bar um, and a sliding door and sliding windows. I thought that it would be a um, way to transform the rear sliding doors that barely ever worked into sliding doors that worked um, so I didn't get stuck and also um, had some functionality so that when I was underway I'd have a place to wash the hands on the rear deck or to uh, you know just put some drinks and so um, as you can see in these pictures I'm slowly transforming the um, rear sliding doors first by building cabinets then by building windows and then by building um, a door and um, I had a custom made stainless steel countertop made from a stainless steel place called um, Stainless Supply. Here's the um, order for them if you want to order something yourself. And then I brought it to the boat and started putting it together and assembling it. There's the stainless steel counter, there's the um, doors in the boat, and you can see there's lots of storage um, behind. Um, underneath the stainless steel counter and here I'm putting in the glass and doing the final touching touches and adding some weatherproofing and I think that it turned out pretty good and here is a sample of how the doors work. They just slide open, you release the middle window and that slides right into the permanent window on the far left slides right in there and then the door opens all the way and you have a wet bar um, and sliding doors so they can be fully open when you're underway and then or if you want to close them for a little bit of weatherproofing you can do that too close it back up and then you have a sliding door that works perfect and of course you have the storage um, um, underneath as you can see it's a little bit of a mess but that is the general idea of what i did thanks for watching